Hi friends, if you are an architect or an engineer or any professional attached to the construction or real estate industry, then it is for sure that you are facing issues pertaining to an effective soaring system for building basement or underground structure. But do you know that recently developed second pile system ages over other types of soaring system? Second piles not only bring efficiency in required soaring system but also add value in your property or project by reducing cost, time and execution within a very nominal vibration and noise. Hence, to get hugely benefited, you can't afford to miss this informative video anymore. Stay tuned and watch till the end to unlock the hidden potentiality. It is an effective compilation of useful knowledge as available, blended with practical exposures and experiences earned. To make it a complete and foolproof solution for second pile soaring system for your building, project or property. Hello friends, myself Avijit Datta. You are watching our YouTube channel Smart Engineers. As you know, in Smart Engineers, our motto is to discuss about the subject matter which are not covered adequately in our college course curriculum but there is a huge demand or requirement in practical or professional field or in industry. Let's try to bridge this huge gap between the academia and industry and develop our country. Before we proceed further, request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future notification and updation. Friends, if you haven't watched our earlier two career advancement videos, that is how to earn IGBC AP certification in next two weeks, that too in first attempt and how to become IBBI registered valuer and earn huge. Please watch them and get hugely benefited. Also, check out our practical research work on pre-stress concrete and how to do EPDM flooring. And just the last video that is on a foolproof solution for building waterproofing, smart engineering approach. You can't afford to miss all these videos for your knowledge updation and career development. Links of all these videos are already there in the description box. Please check it out and also check our YouTube video for your ready reference. Let's go through the modus operandi of second pile works and try to execute that in our next project and get benefited. Disclaimer Preambles As we know, the recent construction boom and the volumes of construction has thrown up a number of challenges. The construction industry is facing a problem of huge volumes, shorter construction period, shortage of labor and are realizing the importance of planning and mechanization in the construction technique and methodology. Although to a large extent the construction industry is able to adapt to every growing requirement of the market to deliver the superstructure. It is not the same for the substructure and here is where all of us in this industry 
including architects, structural consultants, contractors, and project management consultants have to team up to provide solutions, in particular for very restrained plots in downtown areas. The recent bylaws allowing five basements have also added to the challenges that the industry is facing in the construction of the same. It is not only throwing challenges to the designers and contractors to the construct such deep basements, but also to keep timelines of the construction of the project, which otherwise becomes unviable. Here we can see a complex and restrained condition of a project which are very common nowadays. Earth retention, deep excavation in restricted area cannot be done without providing adequate support to the retention of earth. Earth retention can be safely provided by the following methods. Now, how to do deep excavation? Please refer our specific video made on the modality about the deep excavation, which is not generally available anywhere. Let's understand what is soaring. Soaring is a temporary structure used to prevent the collapse of the main under construction structure. Soaring in construction is essentially required to support a deep excavation to prevent the retained soil from overturning and eventually causing a project mishap. Shoring structures are completely different from retaining walls as it is used only to retain the soil during excavation. As per the structural designer, it is not used to only retain the soil. Shoring in construction. It is always essential to decide which type of shoring suitable construction project that we are engaged in at the early stage of design. Building construction in an urban area with a high building density around requires special consideration. Types of soaring. The most common type of soaring in construction are as follows I beam soaring, board pile soaring, seat pile soaring, diaphragm walls. In this presentation, we will discuss only about board pile soaring. Please refer our YouTube video on deep excavation where other types of soaring systems discussed in detail. Board pile soaring. There are different types of board pile wall soaring. As you can see, single board pile soaring, contiguous board pile wall, second board pile walls. Depending on the geotechnical engineering requirements, board pile walls needs to be back anchored. Now, let's see the modus operandi of board pile soaring system. Number 2. Seek and pile shoring. 
Second pile shoring was formed of intersecting two combinations of piles, with a reinforced also called as secondary and unreinforced or primary pile interlocking each other to form a continuous wall. A guide beam is constructed first prior to installation to keep the alignment in place. This is usually used in deep excavations. After casting the primary pile, the temporary casing is extracted while the concrete is not fully set, and a heavy casing is then driven into the intervening pile location, cutting into the fresh concrete of the adjacent pile. The secondary piles are then immediately drilled. The steel cages of secondary pile are inserted, and the structural concrete is poured to form a continuous wall. Second piles are the best choice to use when there is no room for open excavation or when space is limited because of an existing structure that is too close in proximity. Number 3. Contiguous Pile Shoring. Contiguous or tangent pile shoring is composed of closely spaced piles, wherein the faces of the piles are almost touching or tangent with each other. This is used in areas where water is not significant or the water pressure is very minimal. This is usually proposed in clay soils, and can use to retain dry granular material or fills. Although water seepage between the gaps of the pile is more likely to occur when using in water-bearing granular soils, it can be prevented by grouting these gaps to form a watertight retaining wall. This type of shoring is not recommended to use in high groundwater table without dewatering works. Construction of contiguous pile is very similar to that of the second piles, as prior to the installation. A guide beam should be constructed to serve as a guide for the contiguous wall to install in place. Second pile construction methodology. Soft piles that do not have reinforcement are constructed firstly, alternatingly. Hard piles that do have reinforcement are constructed between and cut into the soft piles. The second pile wall forms an underground retaining wall that will support the faces of excavation and hold back the groundwater. The construction sequence for the second piles is a concrete ground guide beam is constructed with curved faces used to locate the pile drilling positions. The soft piles are bored. Bentonite, which is a mixture of water and a special clay, is used to support the excavated holes from collapsing. Concrete is poured into the bored holes. The hard piles are constructed as the soft piles with a prefabricated reinforcement cage inserted prior to concreting. The excavation and propping sequence for the second piles is the reinforcement at the top of the hard piles is exposed and a concrete ground beam is constructed that connects the hard piles. Excavate to below the steel bracing level. Install whalers and struts. Alternatively, whalers and ground anchors could be used. Excavate the formation. Construct reinforced concrete floors and walls. Now, more closer view. A guide wall has to be built. This guide wall is shaped to locate the piles to tight tolerances, ensuring that the overcut from one pile into another is as required by the wall design. The guide wall is constructed from reinforced concrete. Often polystyrene or timber void formers are used to obtain the scalloped shape of the inner face of the guide walls. Once the guide wall has developed sufficient strength, the piles are constructed through it. The wall can be made from alternating soft and hard piles, in which case the soft pile is usually unreinforced, or from alternating full strength piles, in which case both male and female piles may be reinforced.
First, the preliminary, or female, piles are drilled to the required depth. Generally, these piles are constructed in a hit-and-miss sequence in order to ensure that adjacent piles are not damaged by drilling nearby until the low-strength concrete is set. After allowing sufficient curing time, the remaining preliminary piles are constructed. Careful attention must be given to the concrete mix used in the preliminary piles to ensure that it has sufficient strength when the secondary piles are cut into it, but gain strength after that with continued curing. Once sufficient preliminary piles have been constructed, the secondary, or male piles, are then drilled between adjacent preliminary piles. The secondary pile is cut into, or secanted into, the two preliminary piles either side of it. By careful control of the verticality tolerance when drilling, it's ensured that the overlap between preliminary and secondary piles remains intact down to the underside of the deepest excavation level. Subsequent secondary piles are then constructed, forming a continuous retaining wall. Secant pile walls are often used for basement construction or to form cuttings into existing slopes or embankments. When the area inside the wall is excavated, temporary support in the form of whalers and props or anchors are often used. Brief SOPs, that is standard operating procedures of second pile works. Topo survey of the plot, soil test and its report, final alignment of proposed second piles, possible support arrangements, excavation scheme finalization, engineering design of second piles and its support arrangements, proof checking, identify competent contractors and then tendering and award of work, execution of piling works, construction of cap beam and support arrangements. You can see an indicative drawing of second pile. Let's understand the scheme of general DMC pile, second pile and excavation works in a particular project. Sequence of activities will be completion of all DMC piles from EGL that is existing ground level, post completion of DMC pile in designated alignment necessary box excavation side slope protection and guide wall construction for second pile will be done second piles that is soft and hard will be executed subsequently once the second piles are completed Excavation will be started for the raft or tower portion only. Tower raft construction will be done keeping provision for future lateral support arrangements. Subsequently, excavation for the portion between tower and adjacent basement will be done in phase manner as depicted in the attached scheme. Now you can see the scheme. Please try to understand different steps or phases to execute the job one after another. This is very very important. The complete scheme of DMC pile, second pile and excavation works depicted here. Now, let's go through the pictorial representation 
of standard operating procedures of second pile works number 1 making an arrangement of guide wall framework subsequently excavation placing of guide wall framework and rebar works concreting of guide wall subsequently deshuttering of the same now let's commence soft and hard pile in phase manner now the most important portion of our second pile work that is the boring of hard pile through two adjacent soft piles uh in the next video we will observe how it is done at site and we can understand that the level of vibration and noise is much less than any other soaring method generally used and that is the greatest usp of second pile than the other type of soaring method reinforcement cage lowering and concreting of piles this is for hard pile post completion of all soft and hard piles we have to construct the cap beam now you can see second pile with cap beam hope you have understood the sop of second pile works now let's see some alternative materials which we could use for guide wall construction creating secant walls is easier using eps forms universal foam products can quickly and accurately quote you on your eps secant forms with over 30 years experience in construction applications and over 80 shipping points nationwide, 
Universal will provide you with recommendations to make your secant form installation easier, faster, and more accurate. The process starts with the construction of a shallow guide wall. The EPS forms are used to shape the inner curved face of the guide wall. With the reinforcement in place, concrete is poured around the forms to complete this stage. When the guide wall is strong enough, the primary or female piles are constructed. The piling rig drills straight through the forms to achieve accurate placement. The primary piles are drilled out with alternate spacing to form the intersecting design required for a secant wall. The piles are then filled with the first of two different concrete mixes. The secondary or male piles are now drilled out. This action creates the important interlocking overlap between the piles. For reinforcement, a prefabricated steel cage is lowered into each secondary pile. A second hard concrete mix is then used to complete the wall. Some specifications require all piles to be made of the harder concrete. A secant wall completed to precise tolerances. Post completion of second piles, cap beam. Now let's understand that how we could provide the lateral supporting arrangements from the tower raft which we have constructed. Let's go through some pictorial representation, which are self-explanatory. This one is the option one, where lateral supports have been provided from the tower raft portion. More closer view. This is option two, where lateral supports have been provided by use of king post and where wall to wall support has been done. Another picture of king post supporting arrangements. As we can understand, this kind of supporting arrangement can be provided where my premises or periphery area is rectangular in nature where we could provide support from the opposite walls. The third option is by soil anchoring method. As you can see the drawing or scheme depicted here. Now few reference pictures of soil anchoring method. We can see the anchors. More closer view. Post completion of supporting arrangements and when our rafts is done up to the second pile, we could finish the surface of second pile by garneting method. Once garneting is done and our second pile's surface is more or less straight in nature, we have to go for SBS membrane type waterproofing on garneting. As you can see, the processes here surface preparation, primer application, membrane installation and then termination of membrane. Unique advantages of second pile over other sewing systems. Second pile system increases construction alignment flexibility, stiffness. It can be installed in difficult ground, less noisy operations, no special machines are required. As these second piles retain earth 
no separate retaining wall is required. This adds tremendous value in any project, not only in terms of cost, but also time, other materials involvement, separate processes, etc. These are the few specific requirements for alternate of second pile, that is seat pile, which are not very advantageous in nature. And second pile always has an edges over it. There are few disadvantages as well. Few points to ponder. Second pile is specific type sorting system generally prescribed for its intended purpose. Post review of Topo survey, soil test reports, underground water table, supporting arrangements, excavation scheme, etc. And hence, not to be substituted by contagious tangent touch piles without due consideration. Second pile work is a highly specialized work and is not a cup of tea for other that is auger, DMC or TMR pile vendor. Even vendor has experience in contagious tangent or touch pipes. Not necessary be able to execute second pile work. Good quality second pile work can't be done by ordinary DMC rig or TMR or low capacity hydraulic rigs. In case of supporting arrangement from outside, that is by soil anchoring or other methods, availability of required space or permission from neighborhood is required. Also check whether fire driveway is falling in any portion of ground floor basement deck slab or not. If yes, then whether the necessary load is considered during design the deck slab, retaining wall and cap beam and ultimately on the second piles or not. Now few of the management tips which are very beneficial for effective execution of second pile in any project. Please go through in detail. A cost study also furnished here for your ready reference and use. Hope by this informative video you have understood the modus operandi of second pile works and confident enough to execute that in your next project. Thank you. Hope you have enjoyed this informative video. Further, if you wish to implement the same in your building, or project or property and organization and add or earn values may contact us for further supports. Once again, request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future updates and notification. Also share with your friends and contacts you feel will be of their use because sharing is caring.
थैंक यू ऑल होप टू सी यू इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो नमस्कार